Hi guys, it's me. Welcome back to the garage, featuring my cat who decided to run into the garage when I opened the door. Uh, she always regrets it in the end. I think I'm gonna leave her there to think about her uh, actions for a bit, but... Anyway, over here... There we go. We have uh, some wood, and that wood is for a weekend project that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Uh, basically, we're gonna build a gnome house, and the reason we're building a gnome house is because there's a creek near where I live, and they call it like the gnome trail or something like that. Basically, they line the entire trail with uh, a bunch of gnome houses, and I'm part of a program that if we build one of these gnome houses, we'll get volunteer hours. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good for volunteer hours, I'm, I'm, I'm a very good member of the, the community, but, you know, free to volunteer hours, uh, I get to build a cool uh, gnome house. What could go wrong? So, what is my plan? Well, the truth is, I don't really have a plan, but I do know what I have. So, I do have this round cross section of a log. Uh, a, a, big, a big log. We have the bug log, I call it, because it's infested with bugs. I don't like bugs, so I'm going to take off the bark and make them die. We have these, like, medium thickness logs. We have two thinner logs. So, what is the plan with all this? Well, I was thinking, and I didn't really want to be uh, normal and build one simple gnome house. Instead, I want to build a gnome kingdom. So this central log here, I'm going to try to carve out some steps, and on each step, I'm going to put little gnome houses, and that's what these are going to be. I'm going to cut these up into little sections, little cylinders, and make them look uh, nice and pretty. And, and yeah, hopefully this won't turn out uh, horrible. I regret doing this in the garage. There are bugs everywhere and I'm scared. So this log, you'll see it's pretty rotten. Um, not sure if I'll be able to use this in the end, but we'll see what we can do. But uh, There's bugs everywhere in the yard now. Anyway, so what are the plans for this one? So I'm gonna build in steps and put in the little houses on each step. I don't think I should have planned because uh, there's a good chance something might go wrong, and I don't want that to ruin my plan, so I'm just going to go with the flow with whatever it happens. That's it. It's right here. I sawed it in a certain length, up to about like um, here-ish. So I thought what would happen if I had chiseled in here this entire piece would just come out and it would go to the depth of that crack, but I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to do increments to make it easier to, uh, to chisel it out on the piece. Okay, let's see if this method worked. Almost done this bit right here. So close. How is it not? Oh my gosh. I think we're gonna need another time lapse here. I finally got that piece out. That's great. But it took an hour. This knot, this stupid knot right here, this made everything like 10 times harder. And I'm glad I have it finally. Alright, so after a couple of hours of chiseling and using a bit of this rotary tool right here to kind of carve out the edges, I've come up with this. Now this will kind of be like the main structure, I'm not sure which angle we're going to use, but um, basically we're going to put a bunch of mini gnome houses on here. Thinking of putting one on this ledge over here, uh, maybe one over here, one on this little cliff over here, maybe I'll add like a couple supports over here just to make it look nice and uh and realistic and up here we'll have like a little little environment a couple trees a couple bushes maybe even a pond if i uh get the the dremel tool to work so over here we have a log and um yeah i'm just gonna cut a piece off of that and start working on the houses for the next house i had a cute little idea Got these two little logs, and I'm gonna flatten out the sides so they join together, kind of like uh, go inside each other, and uh, it's gonna be like a cute little duplex. 
I'm heading out to pick up a couple materials for the house. Things like pebbles and twigs and pine cones. Just to be honest, the houses are looking kind of bland right now. Really want to make them nice and detailed. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm at the local park. Got some mulch here. Also picked up a couple pine cones and stuff like that. Got mulch over here. Hopefully we'll get a couple pebbles at the, uh, the park over at the school over there. Okay, so here we have the base of all the houses done. This is just the foundation. They have no roof, they have no paint, they have no little decorations on them yet. But before we get to doing that, we got this piece. And what I was thinking of doing with this piece is, um, well, obviously trimming it down because it's pretty long. So what I was thinking, we could just put this down here and it's a bit tall, we'll probably cut it off around here, but we could have like a rope bridge going over here and there will be a tiny, teeny, tiny little house up here. I think that would be pretty cool, so uh, yeah, let's get to cutting that. Alright, so now that we're finished most of the construction, I think it's time to put it all together. So in this box I have a couple of um, IKEA dowels, and I'm thinking we could just drill some holes and uh, kind of like put them in like Legos or something like that. Then we'll fill it in with wood glue just so it, uh, it's a bit more permanent. So the drill kind of ran out of battery, so I'm gonna leave it to charge for a little bit. In the meantime, I got the cedar, what are they called? I got these cedar shims. Uh, so yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna work on uh, the little details on the houses. So you'll notice that this house over here is kind of hanging off the edge, and that is intentional. But, I want to put some of these, uh, these little shims underneath to make it look like there are a couple of wood planks holding it up. We'll add like supports going down, it's going to look very, uh, very cool. So here we have all the completed roofs and uh, doors and stuff like that. Obviously this isn't finished yet, still gotta get painted and stained and get a couple more adjustments. But I think it's time to either get this onto the base or start putting the, the dirt and stuff on. I think I'll put it on the base first. So I think I'm just about done uh, building this little gnome build. Yeah, I, I, uh, I would burn the sign. I think I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. But uh, yeah, it's uh, looking kind of dull right now. I mean, the one color there is is green and that's not really that prevailing here. So here, I have a bunch of paints. I got red, I got black, I got white, I got green. And we're gonna give this place some color. Anyway, here's the finished product. Um, judging is tomorrow, so hopefully, hopefully I do okay. And uh, yeah, I'll have a lot of fun uh, cleaning this up. <laughs> you see, this this uh, this is the the mark of a, a productive weekend. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the video at this uh, flattering angle of mine. Hopefully, I do good in the uh, the contest tomorrow. I'll let you guys know how I do. But uh, yeah, wish me luck and thank you for watching.